Hey y'all, how are you guys doing? Girl, I still got these big twists in. Look, I got my mama uniform on. Y'all know what these are. I got these in every design for every holiday. It's after four o'clock. And so um, I got, I had to do a little beat on my face. I'll explain that later on. So, hey, you guys, how you guys doing? This is another chit chat. Y'all know how we do this. We talk about what's going on in my personal life, what I'm watching on TV and what I'm watching on YouTube. Now, I, I'm not really doing anything right now. Um, normally, I like to do my hair or something, but I'm not. We're going to be eating some um, chips and, and drinking some wine. Because it's Friday, it's Friday, and I'm ready to swing. I got a list of things that we're going to be discussing. I figured I'm going to try to do these on a weekly basis, you guys. I, I think that enough of you comment and like these type of videos. And it's something that you can watch while you're at work, while you're at home, while you're chilling at the doctor's office, girl. I don't know. Why are you chilling on a bus? Whatever. So, y'all know how we do it. Let's just jump right into it. Let me open this bag of chips. So, it's been a crazy week, and it's been a busy Friday. I am cooking. Um, I cook a lot, y'all. I do. I think I cook more. I'm going to be bold enough to say I possibly cook more than like a stay-at-home mom. I'm a work-at-home mom. So, let's talk about what's going on in my personal life. I'm a working home mom. Um, and so my husband has been off. Is that the camera? Sorry. There's nothing like a home cooked meal, right? And so I literally think I have cooked about, I cook eight days straight. Yeah. Well, let me just put it like this. I cooked, well, I didn't cook eight days straight. That's a lot. I cooked for like six days straight. And then for that sixth day, we did leftovers. And so what I think I need to be starting to do, what I need to be doing is cook enough food to where we have enough food, enough leftovers. The problem is, is my husband is greedy as hell. I think that he eats enough for three people. Sorry, that was my coworker wish me a, a nice weekend. But anyway, I'm going to have to figure out a way because I cook, I think that I cook enough food for like four people easily i don't cook small portions but he still eats a lot and so i'm probably gonna have to cook um, enough food for like five or six people and reserve two portions for us to eat the next day because he's just yeah so what else is going on the reason why my face is all made up i don't know if my, my makeup still looks good but today jb had a fall festival at his school so i went there and girl <laughs> I went there and his teacher, at his school, he has two teachers. Well, he has a teacher and a teacher's aide. The teacher aide got married last week, so she's on her honeymoon. And so when I got there, I know his teacher, you know, and so and she's good people. And so I'm, and I know like half the kids in the classroom. So I'm there. She's like, is it okay? Can you wash the kids? I'm like, yeah, I can wash them. So I'm there 10 minutes, 10 minutes washing them. And then she comes back. She's like, are you okay? You cool? I gotta, I gotta go. I said, yeah, girl. I was in that classroom for like 40 minutes, for 40 minutes entertaining those babies. And so we, what, we did, what did we do? We played Simon Says. We, um, oh, then I said, okay, we're going to tell ghost stories. And so we all told ghost stories. Um, one of the other little kids, I think from the first grade class, tried to come over. I'm like, oh, baby, you need to go back over there. And so one of the parents saw me. She's like, oh, you're, this is your classroom. You teach the kids? I said, no, no, no. I said, I'm a parent. She's like, she looked at me. She's like, you're a parent? She's like, why are they listening to you like this? I said, because I, I yell at them like the other teachers. <laughs> I was just kidding. But um, I love kids, you guys. Honestly, I do. I absolutely, in this age, like the, let me let me back up. I like 10 and, not, 10 and under. I don't do well with teenagers. I think teenagers annoy me. I'm just going to be honest. And I know my baby's going to be a teenager soon. But this age, like the 10 and under age, and especially third grade, I, there's something about the 8, 9, 10-year-old. I just love this age. They, they are getting some independence. And they're learning more about themselves. They have their personality. 
Um, it's really hard at the four or five year mark, not to say that they don't have personality at that age, but it's really hard because they're still figuring things out at that age. And so by eight or nine and 10, they have it figured out. You know who they are as an individual, I should say. And so overall, I just, I just love children. I really do. I, and I love babies and I just love this. And so oftentimes when I go to these functions, and I'm interacting with the kids, a lot of the parents assume that I am a teacher. And I'm like, no, I'm not a teacher. I'm not. And kids gravitate towards me. But I... So, yeah, I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I think I have a... I think that I have... I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I think I have a... My face, like the, the way that my face is, and even the way I wear my hair and stuff... I think I have a very retro look about myself. Um, I don't know what it is. And it's so funny, like my hairstylist in, um, in, in Phoenix, she made that comment, comment to me once. She's like, you even, she's like, you have a very old school retro way. She's like 50s, 60s vintage way about you. And I, I have gotten that. I'm just looking at myself in the mirror, mirror. I have gotten that. So anyway, you guys. That's what's going on in my personal life. What I'm watching on YouTube, not a lot. Still looking at some true crime videos. Um, looking at divorce court, y'all. I love me some Judge um, Lynn, Lynn Tyler. Yeah, I love her. I am also am looking at some... Those of you who don't know, YouTube is the number one platform for learning how to do something. And so I am learning, for my work, I'm learning a new a new software for me, at least, called Articulate Rise. And so I'm looking at videos on YouTube for that. Um, but then I'm also looking at videos of just other people. I love um, a reaction video, a reaction YouTuber. His name is Carlos King. He's actually out here in, in Texas, I think in Dallas, actually, because he's country too. So that's basically what I'm watching on YouTube now. What I'm watching on TV now, I think I need to take my time. I found that with my other chit chats, I talk so much in my personal life in YouTube that I kind of rush through on the, YouTube, on the TV part. So I'm gonna take my time on this. So you guys, I started re-watching Cruel Summer, which is a really good and interesting series, but it's so confusing, but and the reason why it's confusing is because it jumps in between three different types of time periods. Um, but it's so good. So I figure I'm going to give it a chance again. Cruel Summer on Hulu, I believe. I tried to watch, y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm very teary-eyed. I tried to watch the Janet Jackson documentary. Baby, look, after the first episode, when she started tearing up, I was like, I'm not going to be able to do this. I am not going to be able to watch it. Like, you know, most of us, I grew up with the Jacksons and um, my family, my family is full of musicians. And so, especially my father is, is a musician. And so, um, that's all we listen to is music. And Janet, I mean, not Janet, but the Jacksons in general was a big part of that. And so, she was just tearing up and getting upset, you know, just getting emotional, I'm sorry, in the series. And so, based off of that one scene, I was like, oh, this is a wrap. I'm not going to be able to do it. <laughs> not, I'm just not going to be able to do it. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it. So, let me back up for a second and talk about that. Speaking of being emotional, a couple of days ago, I think it's been four days now. Oh, my God, y'all. I'm just getting upset thinking about it. Um, four days ago, we found out that Leslie Jordan passed away. He had a new uh, a medical emergency while driving. I believe he lives out in LA, Los Angeles. And I'm going to tell you, I was so shocked to see that because myself, much like a lot of people, I tuned into Leslie. And of course, first of all, I knew all about Leslie way before Instagram. I knew about him from the help from Will and Grace because I used to watch Will and Grace. <laughs> well, well, well. That's what he would say when he would walk in. <laughs> well, well, well. Is it not? Um, and so, yeah, Will and Grace, the help. And then um, he was on the one with Blossom. I hate to call it Blossom. I didn't watch that series. So that series actually started up in the middle of COVID. But... Leslie was just someone who was unapologetic, true to himself. I love that he was, he was a great storyteller. 
Southern gentleman. But I really do love that he was a great storyteller. You could sit there and listen to him talk for hours. I love that Southern Southern accent too. Um, but he was very um, transparent. And I could tell he held back on some stuff, but he was transparent. I love when he shared stories about his father and how his father went out to find this Barbie for him. I absolutely love that his parents accepted him for, for who he was, especially being from the South and especially being, you know, because the South is the Bible Belt. Um, but I, I think that Leslie knew God. He would sing, he, he would um, sing uh, gospel hymns and with other artists and country artists. And he would talk about how he loved God. And he, he was basically, he was talking about his spiritual um, spirituality every now and then on his Instagram. He was, he was a joy to, and when, during, during the pandemic, when the pandemic first happened, and he was like, well, shit. <laughs> Child. well shit guys i think in one video he was like is it still my it was like it felt like it had been the same date for like three days and he was like why are we still in this month what the hell is going on and so he was that light that we needed in the midst of uncertain certainty and we were scared we were unsure and i'm pretty sure he was too and so he was able to share parts of his life without trying to be funny he was just naturally funny so when i found out he passed away i was when i tell y'all I, I was crying boohooing and as soon as i got on instagram if i saw anything else or anything, i was i just started crying again the thing that was very awesome about leslie i'm gonna wrap it up here about that the thing that was awesome to me is that he was able to touch so many people from so from different backgrounds when I went to his page, I saw everyone from Taraji Henson, Taraji P. Henson, excuse me, Kim Fields, um, Ludacris, um, a, a couple other different rappers, um, Questlove, Cindy Crawford. It was like people on the Fox Next work, people on C It was cross-board, so many people showing their love for this man. And that is amazing that he was able, I, to, I hope to be that type of person, but I know I'm not like that, but it's just so amazing for him to be able to have touched that many people in that short amount of time. And I think that that made his life worthwhile. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to get off of that, but I just want to speak about that because that, that really did, that really did bother, that really did affect me this week in general. All right, you guys, so um, not watching Jen and Jackson's show at all. Um, reasonable doubt. I haven't seen uh, since I'm talking to you guys. Let me see. Did I see? Girl, yes. <laughs> hmm, Y'all, this show, Reasonable Doubt, is so damn grown and sexy. And by grown and sexy, I mean Reasonable Doubt is for your 35 and plus. Not 18 and over. This is 35 and plus. Because you've had a couple of kids. You're pretty much into your career. Your husband's getting on your nerves. Sometimes, if not. And so, like I said, Lewis, the man that plays her husband, they're separated. They're having some issues. Is, child, there was a scene. There's been a couple of scenes that they were getting it on. But it's done to... Typically me, because I can be a little conservative, you guys. Typically me, I don't like I don't like a lot of sex scenes. But the way that they write it into this show is done in a tasteful way. So there was getting to the point to where Michael Ely finally has Oh girl, hold on, hold on, yeah, hold on. Michael Ely is talking to her. So he was like basically, they went out to eat. I think a couple of, in, in the same episode, I believe. And so what a, his card or something didn't work and she ended up paying for it. And he was like, give me your address. I'm going to pay you back. He said, she's like, no, it's okay. He said, no, no, no. I never want to owe anyone. So let me know and I'll pay you back. So she's like, okay, here. Personally, me, I would have given him my address a long time ago. But anyway, so he just shows up all of a sudden. He texts her and he's like, hey, I'm outside with your money. She goes downstairs. She has her negligee on and a coat. You know, she covers up. And so they're talking and he gives her the money, right? 
And he gets up on her and he's like, I don't know what happened, but for your husband to leave you, he's an effing idiot. And she just looks at him. And, I mean, he gets up close to her and says that, right? And she just looks at him kind of breathing. She's like, okay, now me, I would have been like, um, what are you doing now? <laughs> no, she does say that her she would invite him up, but her kids are at home. I would have been, um, Tina, Tyrone, turn up your music because I got company. No, I was, <laughs> y'all, blame it on the wine. No, I get it. Don't do that with your kids around. So anyway, baby, fast forward, though, to this episode I saw recently. He comes over and she's talking and baby, they completely go in on the kitchen counter. When I tell you that was the sexiest scene I've ever seen in a long time, because they're adults, they're grown. Cut all the BS. Let me know. I'm, I'm going to let you know what I want and I need for you to fall suit. You know what I mean? And so that's what they did. Okay. But the thing that's funny is that she kept spraying the counter off. She let her on in the episode she ends up having a girls night out at her house and she's like well let me back up do you have anything for yeast infection and we all know what that means typically when you are with a new partner or i will say this if you're with a partner and that partner is sleeping out with uh, sleeping around with other women you will get a yeast infection if they're not um weren't if you're not wearing protection even if you are wearing protection sometimes um if you're not used to the friction, okay, we're going, <laughs> I'm going, like, what's wrong? If you're not used to the friction of that person and their, their girl, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be honest, you can get a yeast infection, okay? It happens. And so, whatever. And so, her friend was like, um, hmm. It's very interesting. And I like that it has different layers of characters. Um, It does have the actor that played in Save the Last Dance, the uh very bougie brother from barber shop so he plays the billionaire that the main actress is defending so spoiler alert apparently um he had a he had a former uh someone who used to work for him who ended up accusing him of sa you know what i mean and so he's trying to say he didn't do it it was consensual right Go back and forth. And the lawyer is technically not sure. She's saying, I think that this woman is doing it for my money. At one part of the series, he's talking to his lawyer. And he's basically like, I know what she wants. I'm going to give her what she wants. Honey, the next day, this woman ends up dead. So then the case, then automatically, when you have something like that, that scenario, it turns into a, a homicide, just a murder case come to find out that he was actually having was having um consensual sex with this woman who also worked for him and um i believe there was one part where he was scheduled to see uh all the attorneys were scheduled to meet together including his attorney and he's playing basketball and he reaches up to her and he basically says have you ever met someone who that you were absolutely infatuated with so, like I said, they were in a relationship. So, this woman was also married and he's married. And so, they were having an affair. So, the, the like I said, this series is very interesting. It has this grown and sexy parts. I'm back to watching The Accident, which is a British show. It's basically exactly what it says. There has been an accident at, I'm, I'm still, am unsure if it's this, is this a playground is this a amusement park but a couple of teenagers break into this amusement park and an accident occurs and a couple of people get hurt and someone gets killed and so i'm very curious to see how this show plays out um so yeah the patient looks very interesting i'm not sure if i want to watch it or not y'all let me know if any of you who are watching the patient i believe that it's on hulu too um, so that is it, you guys. I'm not watching any, I don't, I'm not adding anything else because I think I'm watching quite a bit of shows. I'm going back and revisiting the shows that I stopped watching, like um, Cruel Summer. Baby, I didn't even get finished watching um, What Is Up With The Dragons and Majors and shit. What is that, y'all? What is that? 
with the dragons and the little man and the y'all yeah, been drinking and the the queen is having sex with her brother and they have a child Tyrion and all them that bullshit i need to go back and watch that now <laughs> I need to go back and watch that. So I, I'm really bad about, if I get bored, I will stop a series and have no regrets and go on. So y'all, I'm all over the place. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you as always to all of my new subscribers. Take care. Bye.